Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Maker and today we're going to talk about pens for your Cricut Explorer and Cricut Maker. Your Cricut comes with two tool clamps, clamp A, clamp B. Clamp A is for accessories and this is where we can put pens. To insert a pen, simply open clamp A Take off the pen and insert the pen tip down with the arrow pointing towards you. Hold the bottom until it clicks. Now be sure to close the clamp when you're done. And that's it. That's all. Only That's it. That's all I have to do to insert a pen. And did you know that you could insert pens other than Cricut pens? That's right. Um, and I, not all pens work, but I will be showing you which ones work for me in this video. Also, keep in mind that pens that aren't Cricut pens won't click the same way. And so the best way to insert a non-Cricut pen is to put a craft stick underneath while you are inserting it. And it just barely kisses the craft stick. And if it does that, you take it off and then you'll know you've got it in position. Close the clamp and you're ready to go. Tip, always put your pens, test your pens on a scrap piece of paper before you try them out on your Cricut especially if they're new, they might need to be primed a bit to get the ink going. You're gonna to wanna to do that before your Cricut uses them on your project. Now let's do some writing on our Cricut. I've prepared a test file in Cricut Design Space that will let us try out both the Cricut Explorer and the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Pens and the non-Cricut Pens, including the Extra Fine Point Cricut Pen. And I'm gonna go through each of these so that you can see and get them all out. So we're going to test the extra, it's actually right here. We're going to test the extra fine point Cricut pen, the oh, purple one. Found these at the craft store. I can't even find them online. I can't tell if they're old or new. Anyways, this is extra fine point. It's 0.3 tip. We're going to do this one in purple. All right, so we'll set this over here so we have them all in our way. And then we're gonna try a fine point Cricut pen, which is 0.4, a 0 0.4 tip, and we're gonna do it in jade. This one came with my Cricut Explore Air 2 originally. The next one we're gonna try is a gel Cricut pen, um, a medium point, and that'll be a black one, and that comes in this set, which is the multi-pen set. And this is a really cool set because it's got a 0.4 tip, a 0.8 tip, a one point tip, and two two point tips that are for calligraphy. So let's get out the medium gel pen, which I believe is this one. And they all have the names and the sizes and the colors written right on the side, all the Cricut pens do at least, they're written right on the side here. Okay, so that's our glitter pen, okay. And next we have the medium tip pen, and we're gonna use the silver metallic one. Okay, and I believe that, yes, calligraphy pens are next. So we're going to use, um, oh, here it is. We're gonna go back to this pen set, and we're going to use the two point tip thick calligraphy pen. They're all, all the calligraphy pens are thick. Um, and then we're also going to use in this set, which is the multi-pen set gold. And it's very similar, not exactly the same, but it's very similar. This is all gold metallic. These are very pretty. We're going to use the extra thick calligraphy pen, which is the last one in this set. Right here, let's make sure. Calligraphy 2.5 gold, yes. So these are the Cricut pens that we're going to use. This is all of the Cricut pens. Uh, this is all of the different sizes and metallic and glitter and gel. And uh, so this is everything that I know of at least. Oh, but one more. Right, so we're also going to use the washable fabric pen. We're gonna try it out so that you can see what it looks like. It has a one, um, one point thickness tip. So we'll set this here. All right, so how about some non-Cricut pens? Yeah, you can definitely do them. Now, which ones fit in your machine really depends on your machine. Uh, we had some discussion in our Facebook group about this and some people could fit some pens and some others couldn't. I am trying with three different machines, so hopefully 
you know, what I'm telling you is going to work for you. So I'm, I've tried all of these pens on my Cricut Air Explorer, Cricut Explorer Air 2, which is over at my computer. You can't see it right now. On this new Cricut Explorer Air, which I just got like three or four days ago. And on my Cricut Maker. So we are going to try a Statler marker pen. And we're going to try the red one. So that's what this looks like. So these are really, um, really nice markers. And we're also going to try a Jelly Roll metallic pen. Yeah, these are really nice. So we're going to try a green metallic gel pen. This is a Jelly Roll pen. These are really cute. All right. And we are going to try a big round stick ballpoint pen. That's right. Nice, super cheap pen. And... Then we're gonna have a, all right, so we're gonna do the Crayola Fine Line Marker in Blue. There we go, that's everything. Now, I should note that there are some pens that I can't get to work, but other people claim to work. So for example, this is the Pilot Precise V5. Um, it's, it's like extra fine, whatever point. It's, it does not work. Let me show you what I mean. So it just will not, just will not, go in there far enough to reach the paper so it won't work some people can get them to fit <laughs> i cannot that was just too tight um the other one that i have that i tried and i haven't been able to get is a sharpie fine line marker same deal it just will not go in far enough and i did try this on all of the machines this one won't even go in anywhere near you can't even see the tip come out so, no go on these. However, all is not lost. If you really, really want to use these other pens or other pens that you have, there is an option. So over on Etsy, they have what they call the Ultimate Pen Cricut Pen Adapter Set. Um, and I will link the, 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 set, the page for this adapter set in the comments for this video. But basically, it's a set of little plastic things. You take out this pen adapter, which is this round thing, and you use their, their uh, pen adapters instead. And then you can use a huge variety of different pens, like a, quite a few. However, yeah, I don't have that pen adapter set. And I think this is a lot of pens to be able to write from. So I don't need to get it right now. But if I, you know, if I had a specific need for something real, that I really wanted, it's not, it's not really that expensive. So, but there's so many pens to try. So I want to press the go button on both of these machines and actually start writing. And I want to show you how they write. So let's do that. Um, I have a piece of white paper in both of these and they are both ready to go. Now these pens are going to all write in the same writing font, which is called Dear John. And this is a Cricut font that is a part of Cricut Access. The only two fonts, the only two pens that won't be in Dear John are the two calligraphy pens, which are gonna be in Emmeline, and they're also a part of Cricut Access. So, and finding the writing fonts that look good on the Cricut can be tricky. Your best bet is to use the fonts in Cricut Design Space that are designated as writing, as they won't create the bubble letters when the pen tries to outline a standard font. So when you're searching for fonts, just click the filter label on the far right and then select writing from the drop down menu. Now Cricut will only show you fonts that are good for writing. So there you go. So pick one that looks good and mess with it. Now, what if you find a font that you love, but it's not available as a writing font? There is a way to turn it into writing if you really, really want. You can create text from it in Inkscape or Illustrator by tracing the text you want with a single vector line, which is what is needed for a proper writing font. So if you feel comfortable using Inkscape or Illustrator, trace your text in that pretty font you love and save it as an SVG file to upload to Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. We're going to start, we're going to start with the um, Explore Air first, and then we'll move over to the Maker, because I'm not sure I can do two at the same, I could try doing two at the same time, but I think it might confuse me with all the pen changes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and load this. So Cricut Design Space will let you know which pen to put in and which color, if you pick the color right in the first place. So if you need any help with picking colors, I have a whole tutorial on 
writing on your Cricut on my website. Okay, so we're gonna start with the extra fine point Cricut pen, point three tip. We're gonna put it right in here. This one has an arrow, because all the Cricut pens have an arrow. We push it in, pull the bottom, push it in until it clicks, close the clamp, and then we press go. And I'm gonna move the camera so that you can get a really good look at this. All right, so when uh, the Cricut Design Space will prompt you when to change it and this button will flash again. So let's remove the pen, put the cap back on. And the next pen is not going to be in order, unfortunately. Despite my best attempts, I could not get this to go in exactly the order I want. So this next pen is gonna be a non-Cricut pen. This is a Stadler marker pen with a .3 tip in red. So, to use this, we're going to want to use our craft stick. We're going to put it right underneath, and then we're going to press down until the tip of the pen just kisses the craft stick, and then clamp it. Let's put our cap back on here, remove this, and press the go button. All right, remove this one, put the cap back on, tip down in the tool tray. Cricut now says to use the medium point Cricut pen with a 1.0 tip in silver metallic. So find the arrow, push it in, close it, and press the go button. So that was the silver metallic pen. Next pen is the Fine Point Cricut Pen 0.4 tip in jade. The cap there and press go. All right, so that was the Fine Point Cricut Pen with a .4 tip in jade. All right, now the next one is the gold 2.5 tip calligraphy pen. Now this pen gets inserted differently than the other pens do. So we take off the cap, you look for the arrow. Now, unlike the others where you just had the arrow go facing towards you, you actually wanna rotate this 45 degrees, so you want it 
arrow to be coming in at this angle. It could also be at this angle instead, right? So coming off here. But for tonight, we're going to put it in at this angle. So coming off to the to the left, right? Okay, so I just put it in. and Now watch where the arrow is pointing. And close the clamp. Put the cap on here so we don't lose it. And press go. All right, so that was the 2.5 tip gold calligraphy pen. Pretty spiffy. Okay, next one we're gonna do is this Jelly Roll Metallic Gel Pen. So this is a non Cricut pen. So we're gonna wanna use our craft stick again. So put that cap up there. Set that in there. Push it, oh, open the clamp. Push it down till it just touches the craft stick, close the clamp, and press go. All right, that was the Jelly Roll Metallic Gel Pen. All right, the next one we're gonna do is an unusual one. This is the Washable Fabric Marking Pen from Cricut. Now normally you wouldn't put this on paper, but I'm not gonna put a piece of fabric in here right now, and obviously into my um, Cricut Explorer. But it works the same way, there's an arrow. You just put that in, close it up, put our cap on, and press go. Now the fabric marking pen has a, I believe it's a one point tip. This is on the side there. And as you can see, it's really meant for fabric, not for paper. I will show you what it looks like on fabric too, when we do our maker. Now we're going to do a non cricut pen. We're going to use a Crayola fine line marker in blue. So we get our craft stick, put it underneath, push it in until it just touches the craft stick and close it up and press the go button. All right, so that was the blue Crayola fine line marker. So this is the gel Cricut pen with a 0.8 tip and it is black glitter.
All right, so that was the gel black glitter pen from Cricut. All right, the next one is the 2.0 tip calligraphy pen, a little smaller than the gold one that we did just right here. And this one is in black. Again, you want the tip of your, let's find our arrow, you want the tip of your pen to go at 45 degrees to your machine. So I'm, I'm going to, instead of having it come this way, I'm going to have it come the other way so that you can see the difference in what happens when we change the angle. So I'm going to put it in like this and then press go. quite a bit different, doesn't it? Based on this font, I would definitely recommend that you put it at the angle that we did initially. So your pen going off to the left, the angle going off to the left instead of going off to the right. And what looks good might differ a lot depending on what font you use. So it's definitely gonna be worth a test. But for Emmeline, I would recommend that your pen be going at the angle off to the right. Your, your arrow should be pointing off to the right instead of off to the left, or excuse me. Your arrow should be pointing off to the left instead of off to the right. <laughs> when we do this on the maker, we will switch the order around so that we can compare the differences. Okay, let's remove this one. And the last one is a very simple big round stick ballpoint pen in black. Really, really basic. Remember, make sure that you have primed your pens first, especially these ballpoint pens. They don't just work right out of the box the way a marker would. So let's put our craft stick down, close it, and start it. All right, so there we have all of our pens that we're trying out. So let's unload this and take a closer look. So here you can see all, everything looks pretty good except for a couple, a couple, some definitely have some issues. So the gel pen, which I believe is, uh, let's find the gel pen, this one right here, the, the gel critter black pen, you can see that there are some letters that weren't fully formed here. Um, and it might be the nature of the gel tip or the glitter. I'm not sure. This pen has was primed. So you can see that here at the beginning, here, and it looks like around here that it had some issues. It's not terrible though. It's and it does it is glittery, so it's pretty. This, so the um, 2.0 black calligraphy tip. So the angle that we use for this one is not the right angle. It doesn't look good for this font. So we used the angle where the arrow is going off to the right, and it would have looked better if we had changed it so the arrow was going off to the right, because that's what we did here with the gold. And even though this gold is thicker, it looks much better because the angle of its tip, which is chiseled, right, is going off at the right angle for this font. So the angle was off here to the left like this. And everything else looks pretty good. The big ballpoint pen is naturally lighter because it's a ballpoint pen, right? And here you can see the Crayola is very, very um, strong and looks stands out really well. So those are the results of our Cricut pen and non-Cricut pen testing on the Cricut Explore Air. Now let's take a look at what it does on the Maker. Okay, let's come on over to the Maker and do the exact same thing. We're going to load up our mat.
Like before, we are going to start with the extra fine point Cricut pen with the point three tip in purple. So we take off the cap, open up clamp A, put it in, snaps, close it, and press the go button. Okay, it looks like the big problem popped up while we were doing it. It did not fit properly in the Cricut Maker. So let's pull this, unload this and see what happened here. Okay, so things look pretty good. That black gel Cricut pen again had some issues. The uh, calligraphy pen definitely looks better at that um, the other angle, so the opposite of what we did before. And you can see down here that the big pen popped up when it got to the U and did not mark properly. It's still there faintly, um, but it didn't it didn't stay in the holder like it should have. Now if we compare these two, so here we have the maker. Here we have the Explore Air. So you can see they it's look very similar. You can see the difference here in the black and the gold when they were put in the machine at different angles. So the angle of the calligraphy pens are very, very important. You can see over here, when we compare these big round sticks, if you look at the B over here on the Explorer, you can see it's definitely um, clear, which to me means that it likely popped up as well, not enough to make it stop writing. Whereas over here, it really you really can't see the rest of that. So that big round stick ballpoint did not really work well in either the Maker or the Explorer. And of course the glitter pen seems to be an issue. It's hard to tell whether it's just the nature of that pen in particular or that I have a bad pen. All right, so let's do a real quick test of the washable fabric pen on felt on the maker. So real quick I want to show you this is an older mat and you can see down here it's got the outline of some things I've done. It's no big deal it still works just like I said in a previous lesson. Okay so let's load this up. 
get our fabric pen. Oh, so wait, wait till it stops moving, shall we? <laughs> All right, so we'll put that in. Put the cap on and go. There we go. It's a fabric marking pen on the Cricut Maker. Works really well, actually. I really like this pen. It's awesome. Just always remember to put the cap back on this one because these things do definitely dry up pretty quick. All right, so we looked at the fabric marking pen on a piece of felt and as well as this is the Explorers pen and the maker's pen. Look at that, that's right there. So we saw that there's some differences a little bit, mostly had to do with the pens. Um, all the Cricut pens, other than that black glitter, glitter pen, worked really well. And I will put, um, I will put good high resolution photos of these completed writing samples online so that you can see them. All right, so that's, now one other thing I want to show you is something that you can do with this amazing writing on your Cricut, address invitations. So I prepared a pretend invitation to my 50th birthday party. No, I'm not really having a party, but I am turning 50 this year. So I want to use the pretty calligraphy pen, uh, the black one in fact, and I want you to watch as the Cricut addresses my envelope. Now, remember to put your calligraphy pen in at that 45 degree angle to your machine so you get the pretty thick and thin lines associated with calligraphy. And based on our test, we're gonna put our um, calligraphy pen in at the angle that's going off to, let's see, that would be your left, right? So we're gonna want it to go like this because that definitely looked better when we did the tests, right? So let's get an envelope. I have a pretty pink envelope here and we're going to put it on our mat. Now, when you set up to do an envelope in Cricut Design Space, you're going to want to position the text to be in the right spot on your mat. And the way you do that is in your mat preview or uh, yes, your mat preview. And you just click and drag it so it's in the spot that you want it to be. Okay, so we have our envelope. Put it on the cutting mat. Put it into our Cricut Explore Air. This is gonna work no matter what machine you use. So this is fine. You can do this um, regardless of which one. And we're going to use the black calligraphy pen. And we're going to put it at a 45 degree angle going off to the left. So just like this. Make sure that's at a good angle. That seems good. Okay. All right. Let's do this. But don't forget to put your cap on your pen so you don't lose it. <laughs> and yeah, making this a little big than maybe what you might want to do, but this is totally a way, these just big calligraphy like this. This is the sort of calligraphy that you would have on your inner envelope of a wedding invitation, for example, because we don't have to worry about, you know, it being legible by the post office. If you ever you are going to do calligraphy for a letter that's going to be read, uh, you, you probably are gonna want a very legible font to make sure it actually reaches your recipient. 
So we'll pretend this is a hand-delivered invitation. I intentionally picked this fancy font because I wanted to see what it would look like with the calligraphy tool, the calligraphy pen, because that's what it really is meant to do, is this sort of fancier font, and you could do it with others. In fact, I did a whole test page, which I will show you when we're done, of the different fonts that are available in Cricut Access that you can use with the calligraphy pen. So you can see what what you think of them. This was my favorite though, Emmeline, which is why I'm choosing this for my invitation. go and there we go it's gorgeous isn't it I wouldn't know that this wasn't hand lettered by someone um, if it was just given to me also in addition to this black one I want to show you that I did one in the gold so this is the gold with the um, 2.5 inch tip is this one right here and this is the black with the 2.0 calligraphy tip pen uh, they look very pretty, don't you think? I am really impressed with this, and if I have some real invitations to send out, I will definitely be doing it this way because, yeah, this is really gorgeous. So I did some other tests of the calligraphy pen. So this is all at a 45 degree angle, just like when we did in our tests, and all of these were going in the left direction the direction that definitely seems to look the best. So um, I can't name all of these fonts off the top of my head. However, I have saved this file and this, this Cricut Design Space canvas, and I have linked it in here if you would like to know what each of these fonts are. Um, but I think that they look pretty good. But as you can see, this top one here, I think looks really the most like calligraphy. It really does. Some of the others are kind of, I don't know, Maybe in a bigger size they would look better, but some, but at this 2.0 pen size they get a little bit chunky. Um, I can't imagine, you know, that the 2.5 would probably be even chunkier. But a larger size would probably be amazing. So it really, you know, which one you pick really is going to depend on what size pen you're using, what the application is, the size of it, and everything like that. Okay, and I want to make a note that. In order to get this pretty look on this envelope, I used one of the advanced features of Design Space. I selected my text, clicked Advanced, and then chose Ungroup to Letters. And this allowed me to move each individual letter so I could position it where it looked best. And when it was done, I just selected all of the letters and clicked Attach, and I got a perfect thing. So it worked out excellent. And if you would like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create text in Design Space and change the font and the size and the color and all of that, I have one on my blog for you. So I hope that this has given you some helpful insight in how to write with pens on your Cricut. If you'd like more video tutorials, please be sure to let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye.